It was Lunar New Year Day on February 5th, 2019. Our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai once again graced our association's international congregation at the New Land in Taiwan, also known as Formosa. After making sure that everyone had received a lucky red envelope symbolizing her love, Master shared the exciting news that many in our group had reached the fifth level and thus achieved permanent spiritual liberation from Maya's negative control. One thousand something. <laughs> About 1,200 something. I wish it could be more, not wow. That's very little for my liking. <laughs> you know, your master very big. She likes things big, <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> and we have a lot, a lot of fourth level, a lot. I did not count too many, okay? To help ensure our success on the spiritual path, Master patiently reminded us why we should trust in the Master and refrain from criticizing his or her outer actions. Many people also told me that, uh, like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he married again and etc. etc. I said, no matter what he does, he, he was a prophet. He does what he has to do. Maybe it's their karma that make him has to do that. Maybe he has to sacrifice for that. Maybe that's the way he has to go through. That's the price he has to pay. If you believe in the Master, the teaching is good, you have good experience in heaven, then you just follow that Master. Do not let your mind cheat you. Do not let your eyes delude you. Do not let your ears confuse you. That's why we don't use the ears to, to meditate. That's why we don't use the eyes to meditate. We don't use anything at all. <laughs> we just contact direct inside. So most, any master who came from higher level, they hide everything. They just look like ordinary people. They even get married, have children, and whatever they do, they got a job, yeah? they make money to take care of the family, everybody, the same. But they are not the same. Master then told a Hindu story of a master who encountered a man who was about to die and gave him one important instruction. He said, but if you go up there, if the council of karma asks you, you want to enjoy your good deeds, karma first, or you want to pay the bad karma first, you say, I want the good deed first. Okay, so the guy remember that. And then because of that, he has been able to go into a so-called class in heaven, see that master again, listen to his discourse, earn more good karma, and then <laughs> go up and up and up. Just one time here. Yeah. And you have seen your master maybe a lot. <laughs> you have listened to a lot of good discourse, and you have helped the world help Master to help the world, I'm sure you will not be cast lower than heavens. Remember, wherever you go, remember your Master. Most precious Master, we are grateful for your elevating invisible grace as well as your spoken reminders to keep us safe on the long spiritual journey. May we take your words to heart as we step into the new year, one surely blessed with inner heavenly prosperity for us all. For the full broadcast of this Lunar New Year Lecture by Supreme Master Ching Hai, please tune in to Between Master and Disciples at a later date.